hello guys so welcome back once again on my channel so today we are going to be making a boo boo we are going to be using this lace to make a boo boo gown with ankara patches okay so that's it for today so if this is the first time of coming into my channel you are highly welcome all right so so without wasting much of our time let's dive into the tutorial so as you can see here i have my Antara patches already cut out all right so i've cut out some of the patches so actually i made a rough cutting so because i'm going to be using a gum stay on it so i made a wrong a rough cutting so this is how i cut it you're going to be needing your anchor fabric all right so the, what you are going to do you are going to make a rough cutting so because after gumming that is when we are going to trim it properly okay so you can use your soldering iron but i don't know it doesn't work well for me on an, using soldering iron to trim and color patches it doesn't go well for me it only works well when i use a different uh, material like lace it works very well so by using it on my ankara it has not been going well for me so i prefer to use to trim it with my hand using scissors to trim it so i'll be using gum stay after which i'll go ahead and use a guy in zigzag stitches to close the the edges okay so you can see i'm making a rough cutting this is the pattern I want to use. So I will make a rough cutting first. So this is it. So after which I will be using this uh, gum stay on it to make it firm. Alright. So depending on the type of um, pattern you have. Because I'm going to be pasting it directly on my on this lace. So I, I won't be lining it. or I will not use the hardest gum stay this is a soft one so if in case it depends on how you are positioning it on the particular dress that will determine if you are going to use the hard one to make it very firm okay by this one i'm going to be placing it directly on this uh, fabric so i'll be using this soft stay on it so now after this now we're going to set this aside now and work on our boo boo gun first so after which you go ahead, after I've cut it now, the next thing I'm going to do on this Ankara patch is I'll go ahead and gum it. So after gumming it, I will do a proper tracing, okay? So I'm going to trace it properly for so that all the patterns will come out nicely, okay? Before we start placing it on our fabric. So now, let's set this aside. I'm going to set this aside now. So I'm going to be working on our boo boo gown so here these edges i'm going to be using here as my starting line this edge so what i'm going to do i'll go ahead and make a straight line like this which will serve as my starting line okay guys so like i was saying i'll go ahead and make a straight line which i'll be using as my I'll be using it as my starting line or the shoulder line. So these edges I'll be cutting here off. So here will serve as my shoulder line. So now the length of my gown, you can decide any length of your choice. I have 60 inches. So as you can see, my table is not that big enough to contain all the material, but I'll be showing you or telling you what I'm doing as we go on. So now, on this line now we'll go to the end so actually i'm using about three yards of this uh, material so i have about three yards of this boo boo gown so you can see here on this part now this is the starting line like i said so what i'm going to do at the end here i'll go ahead and mark out 1.5 for my shoulder slope so here i have my 1.5 okay so i have marked it my shoulder slope now because my table is not 
big enough because this is a, a booboo -boo gown is big and long so so after that the next thing i'm going to do from this shoulder slope i'll go ahead and impute my from here from this my line i'll be marking out my neckline okay and the neckline i'll be working i want it to be like it's an off shoulder it's going to be a wide neckline so here i'll go ahead and measure my shoulder measurement so here i'll be marking out so let me mark the basic um, bodies marking so that it will be it won't confuse also here i have my this is my shoulder line so from this shoulder line i'm going to be marking my bust point so on my bust point i have about 10 inches for my bust point so i'm going to mark it through i'm not going to be marking because this is a white fabric and it's lace i don't want to leave any chalk on it so from the shoulder line or your starting line you're going to measure your bust point so i'm just going to be marking a little little marking so that you'll be able to so i won't have any stains on it so now i have my bust point then your waist measurement you're going to be marking it so and the hip your hip measurement so i'll be using 25 inches for my hip so you go ahead and rule all the lines okay maybe after i'm going to use a paper to illustrate what i've done so far so okay guys so now let me use this paper to illustrate what i'm doing first okay so now let's assume this is my, my yard this is the yard yardage of my fabric i have about three yards so i'll go ahead and fold it in by fold you are going to be having 1.5 then I'll go ahead and fold it again. So you can use the yard. This also depends on your the sleeve length where you want your sleeve to stop. So where you want your sleeve to stop. So this is what I have here. So here now is the length of the my boo boo gown, and here is the width. So I'm trying to illustrate what I'm doing so that it won't be confusing. So what I did, I'll go ahead and make a starting line. So this is my starting or shoulder line. So from this shoulder line, I'll measure one and a half inch. So this is my one and a half inch for my shoulder slope at the end of the sleeve. This is the sleeve part. So I'll go ahead and measure my bust point. So this is my bust point. And this is the waist and the hip. Then of course the length of the gown, okay? So this is bust point, this is the waist, then the hip line, and this is the length. Okay, so here my starting point. So what I'm going to do right now, I'll go ahead and measure and uh, impute my so I go ahead and impute my neck width. Okay, so maybe I'm using five inch. I want a very wide, so I'll use five by five. So that's what I'll be using on my fabric. So this is the neck width. So from here, I'll go ahead and connect it to the shoulder slope. So from this shoulder slope, I'll go ahead and measure my sleeve opening because I'll, I'll be attaching a band, a small, maybe two inches or three inches band to the sleeve opening. So I'll go ahead and measure eight or nine inches. So let me say I'll measure nine inches. So let's say it stop here. So from here now, I'll curve it. I'll go and curve it. I'll come in maybe by five inch inwards, four or five inches inward. Then I'll go ahead and curve it out from here. Straight. I hope you guys understand what I'm doing. So I'll go ahead and curve it like this. So this is the hip line. From the hip line, I'll bring come inside a bit okay i don't want it down to be i'll come inside a bit or you can go ahead and mark out your hip measurement plus three inches of allowance so whatever you got there you bring it down so you're going to bring it down so from there now you go ahead and cover it so this is our boo boo gown so here we're going to be gathering here so this is actually what i'm trying to do so after which you go ahead 
and paste our Ankara fabric in the middle part, okay? So, now let's set this aside. I hope you guys understood. So, what you are going to do now, because I don't want uh, to leave so many markings on this white lace, okay? So, the next thing I'll do right now, I've marked out my shoulder slope, right? So, now, I'll go ahead and impute my basic measurement okay for my chest line or my bust point i will input my bust measurement divided by four which is not really necessary okay so then the waistline i will do the same so on the hip line okay i have my hip measurement 42 divided by four which is 10.5 i'll go ahead and add extra three inches i'll add extra three inches which will give me 13.5 right so i'll mark it 13 point so i'll bring that 13.5 so i'll go ahead and mark it straight down from the hip line i'll go ahead and mark it straight down right so after that now the next now i'll do right now let me impute my my neck width i'll be using five by five the neck depth i want five inches both back and front they'll have the same neckline the same neck with everything so five inches by five inches so i'll go ahead and connect it with my curve rule so i'll make a curve a round neck curve five by five so after which i will slant i will connect it to my shoulder slope i'll be slanting it down to the shoulder slope this way Okay, let me just mark it. I hope it's visible. I really want to make much line. Okay, so now the back and the neck, the back and the neck depth will be the same. All right. So after now, the next thing I'm going to do from here, from this place, I'll be marking out my sleeve opening, like I said. So this is my. So I'll be measuring, you can use 8 inches or 9, so I'm using 9 inches, so here, because I want to gather it, so I know I'll, I'll still be joining this part, I'll also join this part, so I'm using 9 in this 9 inches, so I'll come in by maybe 4 or 5 inches, so I'm using 5 inches, right, so from here I'm going to make a curve from the hip part, I'm just going to curve it don't make it straight you can see i'm trying to curve it so so i'm going to curve it from the hip line from that place we curve it we are going to curve it the way you are getting to this down part like i said you bring 13.5 or thereabout here so that it will not be so we are just going to curve it okay you curve it down when you are getting to the down you curve it straight so that you will be able to enter the 13.5 so this is what I have I don't want the down to be that pencil or open so you just go ahead and curve it, right? So after this, now go ahead and cut it out. Shoulder slope. So from this shoulder slope now, so you can see this is the five inches I came in. I made a curve from the sleeve opening. 
so I'll go ahead and cut it. So from there, I'm going to take it straight. Make the very big hole, just like I demonstrated on the paper. Give it a call. When you are getting to your knee length, you can make it to form in. Curve it down. Okay. So this is what I have. So you connect it to your hip measurement plus your allowance. So this is what I have. Just like I demonstrated while cutting the white Blatting it on the paper. So this is my shoulder slope. This is my neck line. So from the shoulder slope, you are going to measure your sleeve opening how wide because I'm going to be gathering it and put a band. So I used nine inches here. So this nine inches, then I came in here from the nine inches. I came in by four. Then I make a curve from here. I curve it down. So let's this is the hip line. Let's assume this is the knee length, okay? So if this is your knee length, whatever you, you got on your hip, your hip measurement divide by 4 plus your allowance, 3 inches of allowance. So whatever you got, you bring it down to the knee length or to the down part. So you are going to curve it down so that you enter to that marking, to that what you got here, your knee length measurement, your hip measurement, so you bring it down. So this is what I did. That is just what I did here. So let me cut it out. My shoulder slope. And the neckline. The back and front neckline, they are the same. So... This is just this is the Google gown. So this front part are going to place our Ankara patches, right? So I'll go ahead and remove the the back one. So this one I want to use this for the front. So you are going to first of all work on your patches before sewing the both side before we go ahead and sew them so this is the front so what i'm going to do right now i'll go ahead and um gum my patches after which i'll give it a very nice trimming and we'll paste it according to how we want to design the front so guys, you are welcome back. So right now, as you can see, I'm done tracing out. You can see I've done a neat tracing. So this is the the pattern, the Ankara patches I got. So I've done tracing it out. All right. So you can see I I, I gummed the soft gum stage on it. Okay. So because I'll be placing a directory on my my fabric or material that is why i use the soft stay and that there will not be any lining considering the fact of the the nature of the pattern and also i won't be because i'll also be placing the direction on the fabric so what the next you're going to do right now is to get your midpoint so i've used chalk to mark my midpoint so i have my midpoint here i just made a little marks so i'll be able to know the midpoint for me to fully arrange my pattern very well you have to do this before joining the back and front shoulders then finishing up the whole thing because after joining you will not have that chance or you won't be free enough to 
assemble or arrange your patterns okay your patches on the fabric so now go ahead and arrange it the way i want okay if you have your zigzag stitch so you mentioned you can use it to like conceal the edges and also sew it directly you can use it if only you can do that you can use it directly but i won't be using it for now because i've already used a gum stain and i believe the gum cell will help the material not to fry in the future or even if it will fry it won't be fried that much or you can go ahead some people say you can use a lighter but i don't think those things are necessary okay so now i'll go off camera to arrange my pattern the way i want it so after arranging it the way you want so you go ahead i will run stitches i won't be using any gum any fabric gum because in future it might wear off the gum might go off so but i'll be running stitches i'll go and sew all these edges so i'll be running a stitch if you have your zigzag stitch you can use it you can use your zigzag stitch to sew it by using my straight stitch for this tutorial okay so after which we go ahead and join the two shoulders of our gown then we gather the hands join our band and close the two sides all right so guys let me quickly arrange it the way i want so you know how you want to arrange it so you just go ahead and arrange your patterns design it the way you want so after which you go ahead pin them down and run stitch on it for it to be firm all right thank you so much so after doing this now i will show us the next step all right so guys so this is the final look of this boo boo gown with ankara patches so you can see the outcome so this is the final look yeah we are done so after sewing your patches you go ahead and finish up the neckline and the sides okay guys so now at this point if you like this tutorial please kindly give this video a thumbs up comment like and share please subscribe if you have not subscribed all right so now we have come to the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching bye